At least 39 opposition MPs have signed a motion seeking a review of the decision by Parliament to allow government to buy shares in Rocco Construction Company. The MPs accused Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayewa of smuggling the motion on Rocco on the day's order paper without giving notice to MPs. When we received the order paper, matters relating to Rocco Construction were on business to follow. And in our rules, the Speaker has powers to alter the order paper of the day. Those powers do not extend in importing matters from business to follow. The work the right honorable deputy speaker did to our consternation. The decision on Rocco had been deferred by Speaker Anita Mong on Wednesday after the House disagreed on the type of shares government should buy in Rocco. Whereas the majority report of the Finance Committee had upheld the government position to buy preference shares in Rocco, the minority report the opposition had recommended that government acquires 51% equity shares. The opposition argued that equity shares would give government much more control over Rocco than preference shares. We are going to, to be as steadfast as we were and we will continue. Nothing, by the way, let them know, nothing like these things are not going to distract us or diminish our charisma to continue to push for what we believe in. The opposition claimed that passing the motion without notice denied them an opportunity to reconcile the two positions of the House. The leader of opposition, Matthias Mpuga, says they want Speaker Anita Monk to grant them space on the order paper to raise their concerns about the Deputy Speaker. And we shall have this matter of a displeasure formally presented to the House and uh, we shall ask that the House makes a decision on this subject matter. Let them know we will we'll go every length including taking them to, to the courts of law to ensure the sanctity and the authenticity of the resolutions of Parliament. Otherwise we are being completely rendered useless. Rocco has been in financial trouble for some time, prompting government to bail it out.